Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? We are back again with another, well, in a very long time, my 600 pound live video. And this one is a woman called Janine and uh, she argues with Dr. Now. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. This was a requested one, if you know what I'm saying. But at the same time though, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, including every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to freaking grow. But with that being said though, as we, as I watch this video, because it is a TLC video, you will see my screen changing every now and then just to avoid the copyright situation that comes along with TLC's videos. But with that being said, let's go over here and let's see what's happening. This is my first experience of this young lady herself in particular. Hello, how are you? I'm doing okay, how are you all doing? Doing okay. All right, Dean, we got you in the hospital and you lost 53 pounds, half of your goal. So all you needed to do was lose the remaining 50 pounds in six weeks on your own to get down to your overall goal I gave you. But instead, you gained back 29 pounds. Yes. Can you tell me what happened? I mean, I had a day that I went over the 1,200 calories. So one bad day and you gained 30 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what I was thinking. She, he says 29 pounds and she's like, well, I had a bad day. I am thinking, wait, what? You gained 29 pounds from one day? Is that possible? Is she okay? I mean, listen, I can see that she's obviously getting agitated already, but yo, if you're going to come up with an excuse, at least make it believable. I gained 29 pounds in a... Girl, bye, man. <laughs> Just continue. What are you telling me now? Okay, wait a minute. You've seen the evidence of what you do when you're on diet and eating what you should. So, there's no way you're eating 1,200 calories. There's no way you're eating 2,000 calories. There's no way you're eating 4,000 calories. That math doesn't add up. Right. Yeah, so, I messed up. I didn't so, do it properly, and I'm going to work harder. That's all I have to say. I messed up. Okay, what I want to know is why I should talk about getting ang talk about getting angry already, man. She's already hot and bothered. Gosh. Boy, man, she's going for the emotions, but okay. Leave that when you have every chance to do it, but you're not lying to me. You're overeating, eating too much. Okay, I won't overeat anymore. I will make sure that I, it's, okay, it's the 1,200 you... calories because I'm going to prove you wrong that I can do this. I'm going to do it. You told me two months ago that you will do it. And until you're willing to be honest, not much will change. And you don't have time for this. And this is something that both of you can understand that this is your life and you're damaging your body by overeating and you're running out of time. And if you facts, to... facts, running out of time because you're damaging your body. You mean the first time? And haven't had your infection treated, you'll be dead. The only way that you're going to survive is if you start to take this seriously, but you're not. And you're not focused on doing this. If I wasn't focused, I wouldn't stop smoking and I wouldn't stop sp the soda. Okay, you're giving yourself a really good pass because... No, I'm not giving myself a that, pass, but it means that I can do it. That's too bad habit you had. You're taking them away, but you're not making any progress. And you think this is something that we should... I didn't get fat overnight. And it's not going to take a couple weeks or a month or whatever. Everybody's different. And I'm going to do it. The problem is, is I've been... I love that one. You know, you know when they do that. Well, but I didn't get, I didn't get over, I didn't get overweight overnight. That and then listen, I get it, man. I, I, I honestly get it. But to be honest with you, when your life is on the line, I don't think it really matters how long you took it to get in the position you're in. What matters is how quick you can get yourself out of it. Because if you don't, your life is bye bye. Reality hits hard, right? But let's continue. Mm underestimating the amount of food that I've been... Well, which part of that you don't understand that... Oh, I understand, but I didn't realize that I was doing it. You're overfeeding yourself and you overfeeding her too. I understand that. I'm screwing up. No, you don't. You're both lying. And you don't plan on changing. You're still trying to make excuses and hope I believe you. But I said, no, you don't. You're both lying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's her mom, right? She's trying to explain the situation. And he's like, no, you're not. You're both lying. <laughs> Man has no mercy. He wasn't having none of it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's mad. It's mad. This could be the surgery. You tell me you're going to do this, Gene. What's the difference now? And two months ago. Because I'm motivated to do it. I was motivated then to do it. And then what happened? What went wrong? If I knew that, I could tell you. I don't know. I'm telling you what went wrong and why, but you're not listening to me. Instead, you're fighting me and trying to defend yourself for your behavior. And tell me that you stopped smoking. Because you're not understanding. Okay, I've seen 9,000 people up to this point like you. And you tell me I can't understand you between the 9,000 people that none of them are different than you. Everybody is not I the do same. understand you. Everybody's different. But the instruction for everybody is the same. Look, <laughs> help is you. Damn. Man, this guy don't give a damn. He is going in. But he's speaking facts, though. I mean, listen, he's a man of this profession. He's been doing it for a long time. And like he said, he's, he's had so many people in exactly the same position as her. So, yeah, he does understand. But hey, man, you know what she's doing right now. She just doesn't want to do it. She's finding anything that she wants to do. She's just saying anything and everything just to make it okay for her to continue doing what she's doing, man. It's not me. You're like a person falling off the cliff, and we're throwing a rope for you, and you're screaming that we're not helping you. Because you don't want to do the work to climb up. You want someone else to do it for you and to make excuses. But if you don't catch the rope, you're not going to be able to pull yourself up. If I didn't know I had a problem, I wouldn't be here to begin with. I know that this is my last chance. I know that I'm dying. I know that I'm not going to make it if I don't get help. And I'm trying to do whatever I can. So I messed up. I'm sorry. 
Okay, then lose 100 pounds in two months, then I believe you. Okay, so I will cut it, what I'm eating now, in half, and hopefully that will be the whole 1,200 calories. You need to cut it a lot more than that, but I'm gonna give you another chance, so prove me. <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm gonna cut it in half, and he's like, you gotta cut more than that. <laughs> Yo, man, is this guy okay? Of course he's okay, he knows what he's doing, right? You can never judge that, but boy, boy, boy. He's obviously experienced this kind of lifestyle of so many different patients is that over time just telling the same excuses over again and again and again and again. And that's why he just becomes just so clear cut throat, man. I respect it, man, I respect it. But anyway, let's continue, man. This is crazy. You're wrong, show me you're ready to do this, okay? Okay. I see you both in two months. In that time, lose 100 pounds. If you want to move ahead with our surgery. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, great. If you need anything, let me know. Okay? Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. There's absolutely no excuse for genius weight gain and for progress. But the reality is... My bad. I didn't want to yawn and not listen because, boy, this piece got gems. She is for genius weight gain and for progress. But the reality is she had no intention of doing the diet or any of the other things she needed to get to her goal. I do believe she wants to lose weight, but she... Raw, she took her time getting out of that chair, you know. How many rocks did she do? Hey, I gotta I got count the rocks, man. I know, hey, listen, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but boy. Intention of doing the diet or any of the... One, other things she two, needed to get to her goal. Three, I do believe she wants to lose four, weight, but she expects all the hard work to be done for her. And when there is... She does expect all the hard work to be done for her, but yo, four rocks, you know. And girls out here talking about X, Y, Z. Like, darling, you can barely get out of the chair, E with ease. You need to sort yourself out ASAP for that surgery. It's just that simple. Although not there, she claims it's because she's the victim of unfair circumstance that is outside her control. And her mom facilitated that perception by defending her and trying to take the blame. And until Jean is willing to give up this facade and stops lying to me, then nothing will change and she won't lose the weight. But at this point, she likely has less than a year to live if she doesn't start to lose a significant amount of weight. Doctor, now is it being Oh, fair? damn. Girl's got no shoes on. At all. But I'm going to prove him wrong. And I'm going to do better and lose the weight I need. And then I'm going to shove my progress in his face. Damn, all right, calm down. Oh, sh sh what have I done here? Damn, okay, calm down, girl. <laughs> she's got too much anger at the wrong person, you know? Obviously, all the anger is, is, is because she's come down to this, to this position. It's because she's come to this position in life where she's at this certain weight and she's finding it hard mentally to lose the weight because she's too busy, you know, giving herself excuses. But then her mother, on the other hand, isn't helping her at all, man. So I can understand why she's projecting her pain and anger towards Dr. Now, but of course... That's the waste of time because really and truly, even though I understand it, you should really be projecting that anger and all that pain into converting into energy that can then allow you to do what needs to be done to save your life because it's evident you need surgery to save your life. Once you need surgery to save your life, that's when you know you're in a even, listen, once you're overweight anyway, you're already in a bad position, right? I'm sorry, okay, that's just the bottom line. That's just the honest truth. But once you're in a position where you now need surgery for anything because of your weight, <sighs> The excuses, to be honest with you, they have no sympathy at that, at that stage. The sweet, the excuses from that, from that stage, they do nothing for you. All they do is just hold you back. But nonetheless, though, you let me know what you're thinking about this video, ladies and gentlemen. To be fair, there's probably a high chance you've all seen this already. I, I don't know, but uh, interesting stuff from this young lady herself in particular. But yes, I'm very interested to see what you guys are going to say in the comment section. And I know someone's going to... Drop me a spoiler. <laughs> but nonetheless, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. We are done and we are out. Peace.